Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be swatching through the new Summertime Essie Sunny Business Collection, which is full of very light, fresh, seaside colors. These are all currently available at polishpick.com. That's where I purchased them for a great price. They also have OPI China Glaze there, so if you're into those mainstream brands and you want to get them for a discount, make sure you check that out. The link to the website's in the description bar below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around for a little while. Just hit that little subscribe button and you get notified of any of my new swatching videos. So what we do here on this channel is live swatch nail polish collections so that you kind of get an idea of how they will probably perform for you and you aren't just going into your purchase blind. I feel that a live swatch helps a little bit more than just a static photo. So I'm gonna swatch all of these polishes. There are nine polishes in this collection on my natural nail and then I'll also give you a full hand swatch so that you can see it both ways. I'll give you two coats in the live swatch and then my full hand swatch will be two to three coats depending on how sheer something was. So we'll go ahead and get started. I do want to tell you what's on my lips today is this beautiful coppery uh, lip gloss from Becca, the Becca collaboration with Chrissy Teigen. I'm actually getting prepared for a move coming up in the next month and thinking about how I'm basically gonna do like a full swoop D stash of all of my lip products. Anything that's been unopened or I know that I've purchased it like in the last month, I'm gonna hang on to, but it's going to be a massive lip product D stash because sadly, lipsticks and lip products are not a great thing to collect. They have a very short shelf life, unlike nail polish. I've held on to some lippies way, way, way too long. So this is a good opportunity for me to just clean out, make sure I'm not working with any expired products. So no real decision making process as far as the lippy collection that I've amassed. But if you are interested in nail polish de-stashing, I have a series on my channel that I just started. It's the video directly before this one was part one, where I am quickly going through dozens of brands and I'm de-stashing. The video is just like a little glimpse at what I'm de-stashing. I went through six Hummers in the first video. We'll go through six more in the next one. And I'm listing everything on my website, moonshinemanny.com. That's where I sell the indie polishes that I make. Instead of listing everything individually because I just don't have time, what I thought would be good was to do mystery grab bags. So you actually get six full size polishes for $15 and one or two of them will be indie polishes. So definitely go and check that out if you're interested in helping me rehome these polishes so that I don't just have to dispose of them before I leave for my new home. So we do have all these beautiful kind of subdued sunset shades, a lot of really light things, light and fresh and airy, definitely resort wear kind of feel. So we're gonna start out with one of the orange shades in the collection and this is definitely an orange, um, kind of orange to peachy coral hybrid here. This one's called Any Fin Goes. And some of these are quite pigmented. You could pretty much get them done at one coat if you were in a hurry. That's the nice thing about Essie's creams is they usually are fantastically pigmented. So you can get a really quick, great looking manicure in just one coat and be out the door. I'm gonna swatch everything at two coats for you today. Like I said, just for consistency across the board, I wanna give you about the same amount of time to see me swatch everything. And it gives you a pretty good idea of how the formula is gonna work for you. Next up, we have the first of three pinks in the collection. This is the medium toned one. We have a very light, like pastel, pale, peachy pink. And this one is definitely a warm tone pink, but it's not quite as light as the lightest. This is called Beachy Keen and this gets nice and opaque in two coats. I definitely go for that second one just to make sure we don't have any streaks or anything but these all just paint on so nicely. With the exception of the shimmers that are in this collection everything is going to swatch pretty much exactly the same. Really, really easy formulas to manipulate. You don't have to worry about them running all over your cuticles. I love working with a Essie cream formula for that reason. So this one was called Beachy Keen and you're looking at two coats for my full hand swatch as well. Next up we have the one green, actually there's no blues in here. So this is your one like blue green shade out of the whole collection. It's this beautiful seafoam green. It's very, very light and it's 
the first of two shimmers in the collection. I feel like these shimmers are probably gonna sell out the quickest on the website, so you maybe wanna make sure you snag one. This one's called Seize the Day, and the shimmer is very, very beautiful. It's this bright blue-green shimmer in the seafoam green, and this polish is on the sheer side. They definitely sheared out the formula so you can see shimmer. If you haven't heard me mention before, if your formula is too opaque, it makes it almost impossible for the shimmer to show through, especially if it's a very delicate shimmer like is the one in this polish. So it makes sense to me that they sheared it out. You're gonna to wanna to probably build this up in three coats. I just showed you two for the live application, but for my full hand swatch, I did three. Next up, we have the first of two purple shades. This one is definitely the more red purple, whereas the other one will give you a little bit of a cooler purple, um, but they're both very, very light. So I would call this one kind of like a mauve orchid purple and it's called Suits You Well. And this one has a gorgeous formula. This one was one of my favorites, of course, but it was very, very opaque. And I just thought it had a dusty enough look that it was really, really calling to me. If you don't know, I really like dusty shades. Basically, that means that they added enough white and a, a little bit of a darkening agent to just kind of gray it out a little bit. Mm. It's just perfection to me. So I really, really love this one. That's of course a lot due to my color preference, but that ended up being one of my favorites out of the collection. So that is Suits You Swell. I think I said well before, Suits You Swell. Next up we have the second of the two shimmers in the collection, and this is the yellow. It's also the namesake of the collection. It's called Sunny Business. And this has a pretty similar formula to that seafoam green. It is on the sheerer side. It has a very high sparkling golden shimmer and I just adore it. I did find that this was a little bit streaky for me though I think due to the formula that I'm trying to make sure it's not too opaque so you can really see that shimmer. I think it's beautiful. I again am a total fan of yellow polishes so they just particularly call to me. So this one was another favorite for me out of the collection. It might not be yours if you really don't like yellow, but I think that it's awesome. Next up we have another of the pinks. This is the very, very pale pastel kind of peachy pink. This one's called Talk to the Sand, and it's just a very light, tons of white poured into this formula. Just a little tiny pinch of pink, and it's really nice. It's beautiful, chic, fresh, gorgeous toe shade for the summer. I just love this look on the toes for summertime, and it applies really, really nicely. For me, because I have a lot of colors in this range, um, a lot of brands do this kind of color because it is so classic and clean. This one wasn't particularly calling to me, but it is pretty great. It's called Talk to the Sand. Next up, we have the third pink, and this one is darker, and it's kind of a slightly corally pink. All the pinks in here were definitely warm tone pinks. This one's called Throw in the Towel. And again, for me, I have so many colors in this exact shade, even from Essie, that this one was probably one of my least favorites out of the collection. That's totally just due to personal color preference and what I already have in my collection. The formula is fantastic. It swatches so nicely at one to two coats, depending on your application. So this one's great, but I am willing to bet you probably have a polish in your collection to dupe this one. Speaking of duping, guys, due to my moving and everything, I don't have the time to add the duping section into this video. It does add an additional five to six hours actually onto my editing and prep for the videos. And I just don't have the time to give to that right now. So I apologize, but if there's anything super specific that you wanna see, just DM me on Instagram and I'll try to show you them side by side. Next up we have the second of the two purples and this is the cooler tone one. If you prefer a cool tone kind of lavender purple, this one's called You've Got Me Faded, but the word you've is spelled U apostrophe V, which I think is cute because it's like U V got, anyway. Cute, cute, cute. This, again, is a shade that I love. There's a lot, a lot of white in this purple, which makes it super bright and fresh. Again, one of my favorite toe color shades. I think I'm gonna put this on, actually, right after this video. It's such a fantastic, just fresh feeling shade. And none of us are going anywhere right now. We need a little uplifting thing to look at. I think this is just the thing to pop on your toes. Definitely let me know in the comments below which ones are your favorites. I would love to know which polishes you're loving from this collection. The last polish in the Sunny Business Collection for Summer 2020 is called You're a Catch. And this is the one neutral shade out of the collection. That light peachy pink is like almost a neutral, but this one is a true neutral. It's a peachy tan 
Again, with a lot of white in it, it's going to look very bright, very fresh on your nails if you still wanna wear a tan, but you don't wanna to go too dark, totally get it. Let's keep things light and fresh right now, not too serious. This one's gorgeous. That is the final polish in the Sunny Business Collection. Again, I purchased them at polishpick.com. That link will be in the description bar below. It's a non-affiliate link that will just hop you right over to the website so you can shop if you would like to. And that's gonna be it for today's video. So again, like I said, let me know down in the comments below what your favorites are, if you're feeling this collection, if it's making you sad that you aren't at the resort right now, or if it's going to uplift you. Thanks for stopping by for this video. I will see you back for another one very soon. I have a full collection to swatch for you from the Essie Gel Couture line that is called Sunset Soiree. So I hope you stop back in for another one and subscribe if you aren't. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. It really helps out my channel. I'll see you back again for another one very soon. Bye!